This is the Speedo Performance of the Week for Tuesday, October 21st, 2014, brought to you by Speedo Fit. College dual meets are exhausting for a lot of athletes. Some of them have to swim multiple times in less than two hours, often not able to relax in one event to prepare for the next. That was the case for NC State's Simonis Billis last Saturday in the dual meet against Georgia as the junior swam three events in a very close time frame and was very fast in all of them. His first event was the 200 freestyle and it was a great start to the day. Billis put up a 137.02, the fastest time swum in the event so far this season nationwide. He needed that swim to hold off Matthias Koski who was just five tenths back. About 15 minutes later, Billis was back for the 50 free. Now, most would think that's not enough time to recover from a fast 200 free, but not Billis. He won the event with the 1996 to join an exclusive club of sub-20 second swimmers so far this season and put him in a tie for fourth nationwide. Another 15-minute break for Billis and he was back for the 100 free, where he won again with a 43.74. That time is good enough for second in the nation. But Billis was not done. He anchored NC State's 400 free relay, and the Wolfpack needed to win the race in order to win the meet. Billis went into this, his leg even with Georgia and won by 1.4 seconds with a 43-23 split. If Billis had excelled in just one of his four events, it would have been enough to consider him for the Speedo Performance of the Week. But it's rare to have such a great day in the pool in the middle of the season, and for that, Simonis Billis, you've earned the Speedo Performance of the Week. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.